Oh no, Robert Mary Adam. Is that Robert Mary Adam? Four Boy Lincoln Adam. Good afternoon, sir. My name is Darren Jared. I'm with New Mexico State Police. The reason for the stop is we got you going 81 into 65 zone. Yes, sir. I, yes, sir. I know. That's my fault. All right. Do me a favor. Come with me to the passenger side of my vehicle while I run my checks. Right there by the front wheel. You didn't realize that was a 65 zone yet? Officer, I did, but we're, we're just in a hurry to go. Okay, where are you guys going? Back to El Paso to Fort Bliss. Where are you guys coming from? Arizona. Picked up my from flight. Thatcher? That's where you guys are coming from right now? Yes, sir. Oh, okay. 17 Central. Uh, 49, I'm going to be relocating to that address on the country club. This is a 2011? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Oh, you got the insurance back. There you go. Am I able to get this back to my wife and come back? And Just hold on. Are you planning on registering this thing in Texas and getting a Texas license, or? No, because I get out in December. Oh, okay. And I'm moving right back to Arizona. Oh, okay. But the in-laws registered it for us. Oh, okay. All right. All right, Mr. Quintana, so you're issued a citation for your speed, okay? It's an 81 uh, mile per hour in a 65 zone, okay? It's a $122 fine. You can either pay the fine or you can go to court on it. Sir. What would you like? I'd like to pay, sir. You'd have 30 days and you can pay online over the phone or through the mail, okay? Okay, I'll just pay on All right. Or what's the number that I can call? Or It'll be on there. Citation? It'll be on the citation. I'll show you right now whenever it's printed out. Yes, sir. So you have your wife with you? Who else do you have with you? Her brother. Oh, okay. Yeah, uh, it's his birthday. He wanted to come up here and spend the week with his sister. So we picked him up and come back. Nice. Here's the citation. Down here, this is where we gotta pay. 
one of three ways online over the phone or through the mail if you mail it in check your money order to the address with the citation in the uh, envelope self-addressed st stamped envelope okay this right here is the amount you gotta pay you need your sign right there in that box right there. yeah Are there any questions? No, sir. Please my be careful on your way back, okay? Yes, sir. My apologies. Thank, Thank you. You're still going 74, 72. That's on me. Sir, my name is Darian Jared. I'm with New Mexico State Police. The reason for the stop is that you're going 83, and this is supposed to 65 zone. Do you have your driver's license on you? How about registration and insurance? All right, can you do me a favor? Come with me to the passenger side of my vehicle while I run my checks. Let me just grab my mask. That's fine with me. Go ahead. Coming from California. California. You go to for vacation? Yes. Nice. What you guys go do in LA? Uh, we went uh, to spend a week uh, with my uh, wife's sister. Uh, we went to my aunt. Uh, we went to San Diego. Hollywood. San Diego. Nice. Uh, we went to El Pino and East Los Angeles. And they did the Bloody Blood Out movie. All right on, right on. Uh, we did a That's pretty cool. Did you guys go see the uh, Hollywood Walk of Fame and all that yeah, stuff? That's pretty cool. I've been once to that Walk of Fame. Yeah, I mean, that's pretty it, cool. It looks better in movies and stuff, but I mean, uh, yeah, I guess because of it's kind of like just regular sidewalk with yeah, <laughs> yeah. it's kind of what it is, huh? The Honda's a 2017. Yes, sir. 2017. Where are you guys headed to now? Back to Midland? Uh, no, we actually, well, we're gonna stop in Horizon. Horizon? Oh, yeah. What do you do for work? Uh, I just kind of got out of the of the service. Oh, okay. Just taking vacation, going places. Nice. Ten four sir, show your traffic stop at I ten at the thirty three. Ten four clear 
All right, Mr. Valdez. So you're issued a citation for 83 in the post 65 zone, okay? It's a $122 fine, or you can contest it in court. What would you like to do? Pay the fine or go to court on it? Well, I would have to pay the fine. Come to court. Or... Court, just to, just to let you know, court could be arranged to be telephonic because of the pandemic and everything going on right now. The majority, I think all court is telephonic here. If that one, if that influences your decision a little bit more, because you would have to contact the court within 30 days to set up a court date, okay. and then the court would actually be over the phone. Okay. Yeah, that's fine. Uh, can, can I just uh, request my letter? Uh, do you guys send mail? Like, just, oh, I just call the court and then. You would have to call them, and then after that, you would have to talk to them over the phone. Okay, I'll do that then. Okay. At a, and at any point, if you wish to just plead guilty and pay the fine, huh? you can call up the court and let them know that you want to do that too. Okay. If you don't want to do, deal with this. But like I said, if you want to have your day in court, it is telephonic. The phone number is on there. I'll show you where the phone number is at. Okay. And right now, by signing, you're not pleading guilty to anything. You're just agreeing to contact them, okay? Okay. So right here, this is the citation, like I said, mm -hmm. uh, court, there's the address. That's not that important unless you want to verify that the address matches the phone number. Okay. But right here, this is the phone number and this is your deadline. This is not your court date. You have to contact them to set up a court date. Yes. And usually what they'll do is they'll tell you, okay, so it's going to be this time and it'll be, I think, one of those Google Meets via telephone. You have to enter in the telephone number and then a pin in order to join, okay? okay. So that you have until October 27th to contact them. So it gives you a full month just before you even have to contact them, okay? okay. Do me a favor and sign in this box. Yes. You're not pleading guilty to anything. You're just saying you want to have your day in court and you're going to contact them on this, okay? Okay. Are there any questions? Please be careful on your way back, okay? Thank you. Good afternoon, sir. My name is Darren Jarrett. I'm with New Mexico State Police. The reason for the stop is that you're going 90 back there. 90, huh? Yeah. And that's supposed to 65. So I need your driver's license. You have registration and insurance, too? Uh, I, I'm actually in a rental car, sir. Okay, I'll need the rental agreement. Where are you guys headed to? 
We're going to Alamogordo. Alamogordo? Yes, sir. I'm gonna step out because so I have to use the restroom. You have to use the restroom? That's fine. That's right. I'm my seat back. You guys have to go? No? Yeah. Sir, do me a favor, bring that with you to my vehicle and I gotta run my checks back here, okay? No problem. Stand by the front wheel. You from Oregon? Yes, sir. Where are you guys headed to? Alamogordo. Oh, that's right, you said. Where are you going for, to Alamogordo for? Uh, okay. It's been a long drive? Uh, yeah, it's been a little bit of a drive, yes. You guys are coming from Oregon right now? No, we're coming from Arizona. Oh, okay. Where in Arizona? Uh, Tucson. Is that where you're currently staying? Uh, that's where I picked up my aunt who's riding passenger with me. She oh, okay. There. Do you fly in there, uh, Tucson yes. or to Arizona? Yeah. Yes, Let me see. It hurts. All right, sir. So you're issued a citation for your speed, okay? Like I said, I got you going 90 into 65 zone back there. You have two options. You can either choose to pay the fine, and you would have 30 days to pay that online, over the phone, or through the mail. The other option is to contest it in court. Court would be telephonically here in Deming. You wouldn't have to show up. You just call up. Okay. That being said, what do you want to do? Do you want to pay the fine or go to court? Uh, can you tell me how much the fine is? One hundred and fifty-seven dollars. And is it possible for me to take uh, an aggressive driving? Test? You would have to request that through a judge. In order to do that, you would have to select the court option. Okay. And can you tell me uh, if I choose the court option, when the court will be? You would have thirty days just to contact the court, and then once you contact them the first time, they'll set up your court date. Okay. I'll, I'll go that route so I can see if they'll grant me the opportunity to try and get it off. That way, it's not against my insurance. Okay. It just depends on a, a bunch of different variables. You, you were going pretty fast, so it depends on that. It also depends on um, where you're going to want to take the defensive driving course. I'm not sure if they'll grant an out-of-state one. It might have to It might have to be a New Mexico one. I'm not sure. Like, uh, online from New Mexico? I'm not even sure about it right now. Okay, I haven't 12, I haven't had to take one, so I, I don't know. 12, 5, 1, so come. I'm 10, 4. Right here is the 
citation, address to the court, phone number to the court. This is your deadline. It is not your court date. That's just the due date. Okay. If that lands on a weekend, it's the last Friday before this that okay. you can contact them. Okay. So okay. you can contact them Monday through Friday, 8 a.m. to 4 p.m. Mountain Standard Time. Okay. Give me a favor, sign in that box. You're not pleading guilty to anything. You're saying you want to have your day in court, okay? Yes, sir. Here you go. Are there any questions? No, that's the All right. Please be careful. Thank you. Have a better day. Appreciate it. Yeah, thank yeah. you. Are you serious? Darren Jared, I'm with State Police. I need your license, registration, insurance. Do me a favor, come with me to the passenger side of my vehicle. The reason for the stop is you're going 89 and this is a 65. That's fine. Pull it up on your phone, bring it with you. That way you can show me back at my vehicle. everything, bring it with you, and we'll go to my vehicle, okay? To the front wheel, please. Just stand right there. Right here. Is there a reason for your speed? Um, no. no. Driver's license? That's fine, go ahead.
Where are you guys headed to? I'm um, heading to Goodfellow Air Force Base. I'm TDing lying over there. Oh, okay. Well, I have a hotel that I have to make it to. Were you able to pull it up? The insurance? Um, yeah, so it said, I'm going to try and see if I can just see it from here, but it okay. said, get proof of insurance and then send it to my insurance, but I'm hoping it will just come on the app. Okay. Um, while you're looking at that, if it comes up, it, it's fine. If not, don't worry about it. I'm pretty sure more often, than, more than likely you have insurance, okay? Yes, um, I will cut you a break on that. But as far as the speeding goes, it was an 89 miles per hour in a 65. You have two options in the state of New Mexico. You can either choose to pay the fine of $157. You would have 30 days to pay that fine online over the phone or through the mail. Or your other option is to contest the court it could contest the citation in court you would have 30 days to contact the court via telephone and then you would set up a court date and that court date would be telephonically due to the coronavirus and all that stuff okay so what would you like to do pay the fine or go to court on it okay here is your registration back Are yours? Are there any questions? No, sir. Please be careful. Yes, Please watch the speed, okay? Yes, sir. Thank you.